Assalamualaikum and good morning. Welcome back to Science Future Class with me, Teacher Roska. Our topic today is from Unit Six: Light and Dark. There are four subunit in this topic. Firstly, sources of light, sumber cahaya. Secondly, light and dark, terang dan gelap. Thirdly, shadows, bayang-bayang. Lastly, clarity of shadows, kejelasan bayang-bayang. Light is an important requirement in our lives. Light is obtained from various sources such as the sun, lamps and fire. During the day, the sun is the main source of light. Sunlight is a natural source of light. Lamps, there are many types of lamps such as street lamps, car lamps and home lamps. Light can also be obtained from fire such as the flame of a candle, an oil lamp and a torch. The main source of light for the earth is the sun. Sun emitted the light and lit up the earth surfaces. When there is dark during the night, we may use this other sources of light to lighten up our dark environment so we can see better. Sources of light The sun Candle Bob Flames Spotlight Torch And lantern Light and dark Terang dan gelap Our surrounding is bright due to the light Without light our surrounding will turn dark and it is hard to see. During the day, we can do many activities because it is bright. We can see clearly. We can play at the playground with friends. And because it is bright, we can read. However, some activities can be carried out during the dark. For example, campfire. We can watch the fireworks and play the firecrackers at night. And everyone sleep at night. Shadows Bayang Bayang Shadows is formed when light is blocked by an object. When the lights are blocked, this will cause a formation of a dark image similar to the shape of the object that block the lights. For example, this ball is round, so the shadow is also round. Look at the shadow of the tree. Similar, right? Shadow of ice cream. Shadow of Roblox Clarity of Shadows Kejelasan Bayang-Bayang A clarity of a shadow depends on the opacity of the object that blocks the light. When the object is transparent, it allows all the light passes through. Translucent object allows some light passes through. However, the opaque object do not allow the light to pass through. Let's look at this activity to investigate the clarity of shadow. Here I use three types of materials. F for paper is opaque, baking paper is translucent, and plastic is transparent. Look at the result of the shadow. The size of a shadow depends on the distance between the light source and the object. 
when the object is far from the light source, the shadow is smaller. But when the object is near to the light source, the shadow is bigger. The Shadow Play The most popular shadow play is Wayangkulit. Have you ever seen Wayangkulit? Notice, the shadows form on the white screen during the Wayangkulit show. In the shadow play, the shadow of the character is similar to the object of the character. The shadow is clear because the object of the character does not allow light to pass through. Now let's do some fun activity. Let's do these hand shadow puppets. Can you do this? That's all for today. See you in the next class. Bye!